Okay, good evening, everyone. And we want to welcome you to Redox Nurse Talk. This is a platform that my friend Doria Stewart and I started about a year ago just to educate people about this technology. So before we go any further, I want to make our disclaimer. Redox signaling molecules do not diagnose, treat, or cure any disease. They just give the body what it needs in order to communicate better, in order to help deal with our health challenges. And a couple of housekeeping rules. We are going to keep you muted. And then if you're going to be moving around, if you would just take your camera off, your video off, so it's not distracting to the speaker. And then in the end, we will have a time where you can put questions in the chat. And if Jimmy has time, he can answer those questions accordingly. So with that being said, I'm just going to pop over to Doria. And Doria, let's just let you introduce yourself real quickly. And then we'll do a nurse nugget and then a short video. And then we will Open it up for our speaker, Jimmy Saville. Thank you. Thank you, Cindy. So I'm Doria Stewart. I'm a registered nurse from, I live in Atlanta, Georgia. So this technology is an amazing, um, you know, gift of hope. And um, I'm not going to go into any detail about myself, but I've been on the product for four and a half years and had a, have had wonderful success with lots of different uh, various health challenges that I had dealt with it as definitely being a nurse for 43 years. So thanks, Cindy, for letting me introduce myself and on to you. Okay. I am also a nurse, but I'm here in Nashville, Tennessee. And like Doria, I've had some good results with this technology and we'll always take the test. It's like replenishing your body with water. We replenish them with these molecules. Um, so we have started to focus on heart health for this month since this is February. And of course, I'm sure all you guys out there are all prepared for Valentine's Day tomorrow. So we're going to dive into one of our supplements. We have many, the redox signaling molecules being our flagship product. But we also have some products called Cell Performance. And tonight I want to focus on the redox mood. But I'm going to link it to heart health as well as to Jimmy's testimony as much as we can. So first of all, did you know that chronic stress can wreak havoc on your body, your mind, but more importantly, your body? You've heard of the fight flight mode. So when you're stressed or when you have a perceived threat of stress, your body kicks into that fight and flight mode. There is a tiny region in the base of your brain called the hypothalamus. And this is what sets off the alarm system in your body when you're threatened. This alarm signals to your adrenal glands and they release a surge of hormones called adrenaline and cortisol. So adrenaline makes your heart beat faster, causing your blood pressure to go up, gives you more energy, which is needed during that flight fight syndrome. And then cortisol is your primary stress hormone that increases the glucose in your bloodstream, which again, you would need if you were in a fight situation. Cortisol also slows down those functions that's not needed during this time. It changes your immune system. It suppresses your digestive system, your reproductive system, and your growth process. So once the threat is over, things return to normal, and that's good. That's the way it's supposed to be. But if you are under constant stress day in and day out, this is where things go south in your body. Long-term exposure to cortisol can disrupt all of your body's processes. This puts you at a higher risk for anxiety, depression, digestive issues, headaches, muscle tension, heart disease, heart attacks, hypertension, stroke, sleep problems, weight gain, and problems with memory and focus. And so if you're having, say, discomfort or pain somewhere in your body and it's constant, that elevates your cortisol as well. So again, Elevated cortisol over a long-term period can lead to heart attack, hypertension, which can lead to stroke as well. So we need to manage our stress. And with that, we have, I don't have the actual box, but we have the redox mood, which is our green packet. And I'll just run through a couple of things that it contains. It contains GABA, which this increases your neurotransmitter levels that help regulate your mood and reduces oxidative stress in your central nervous system. It contains L-tyrosine, which elevates your mood. It contains rhodiola rosea, which stimulates your nervous system. It treats stress-induced fatigue, depression, and enhances physical performance. Ashwagandha has a calming effect on anxiety, and taking this is known to calm the brain, reduces swelling, lowers your blood pressure, and alters your immune system. 
Saffron is another ingredient in our mood, and it is in the it is effective in the treatment of a wide range of disorders, including coronary artery disease. Again, goes back to heart health, hypertension, stomach disorders, and learning and memory impairments. And then, of course, it contains B vitamins, which regulate stress hormones to improve your relaxation. So, tying all this to heart health, you need to relax. You need to chill. So, get your redox cell performance mood and see how much better you feel. And it also helps with sleep, which that's awesome. So before we introduce Jimmy, I'm going to show a short testimonial, I mean, a short video that explains this technology. And we rotate back and forth between some of the videos that we use. And I keep going back to some of these with Dr. Mark Debrincat. So if you will hold on one moment while I share my screen, we will get this one going. Today, I want to talk about signaling molecules in the body. First of all, signaling molecules in the human body are doing so many things that we just take for granted. And they're determining how easily your body can stay at homeostasis and have the ability to adapt to things that are coming into your body, sometimes unexpectedly. So the first part of signaling molecules, we're going to talk about the brain. So the brain is using signaling molecules to release and to transfer all of the happy hormones and neurotransmitters that are going on in your brain, like dopamine and serotonin and norepinephrine. And so they're dependent on signaling molecules to send and drive those neurotransmitters from one part of the brain to the next and to share information throughout the brain. So your entire nervous system is using signaling molecules to send information down the nerves and from jumping from one nerve to the next, it's using signaling molecules in order to transfer that information. So our nervous system, which is our most important system in the body, is absolutely dependent on signaling molecules. The next thing I want to talk about is hormones. So we have over 50 hormones in the body that we've identified and they are actually released and then stopped by a signaling molecule. It'll hit a receptor site and say, hey, I need some of this hormone, please start releasing it. And then another signaling molecule will come in, hit a receptor and say, we've had enough, time to turn that off. And we all know how delicate our hormones can be. And if we're not at homeostasis, we could have all sorts of health problems. Outside of hormones, we have digestive enzymes. We have three main enzymes to break down proteins, to break down fats and to break down sugars. The release of these enzymes are dependent on signaling molecules, again, to communicate when I need and how much I need of these digestive enzymes. So 75% of all your energy every day is used just on digestion. So we want to make sure that those signaling molecules are working the job correctly. Outside of that, we have our immunity. Your central nervous system is tied directly to your immune system. And that immune system is the first response to threats and to anything that could cause harm to you. And we want those signaling molecules to work quickly. And we want the body to respond fast and to be able to return us to homeostasis from any invaders or any toxins or chemicals or things that shouldn't be in our body. It's our immune response and that inflammation response that again is all dependent on signaling molecules to get the job done. Then we talk about circulation. The entire lining of your vascular system has the square foot of larger than a soccer field. Now imagine that soccer field has shag carpet in it. That shag carpet is your glycocalyx and that's the part of the lining on the inside of all your vascular system that has signaling molecules in it that is responsible for letting oxygen and nutrients through and pushing toxins back out into the blood. Not only that, those signaling molecules in the vascular system, they can tag stuff going by that shouldn't be there for removal or repair if it's injured. And so again, signaling molecules is absolutely every aspect of our vascular system to be able to communicate and function well and get the most out of our blood. Now that same glycocalyx that lines our entire vascular system, we have a really thick one that lines our 
brain it's called the blood brain barrier and we have another thick one that's our gut barrier so that's the actual absorption of nutrients and food or molecules that the food is broken down to into your system and of course your blood brain barrier is one of the most important ones because it needs to protect and keep all things that could harm our brain out of our brain so that is so many reasons in so many aspects of why signaling molecules are so important in our body but i'm going to leave you with one more that's just going to go way deeper the inside of every one of your hundred trillion cells is filled with the fluid called signaling molecules that are literally driving the function of that cell all the amazing things that happens inside a cell needs the signaling molecules to do so. Now, here's the thing. As we age, we produce 10% less of these signaling molecules every decade. Now, we're producing trillions of them every second, and within a hundredth of a second, we're using all of them. So this has never been anything that we could store for more when we need more. Now, for the first time ever, we have a company that has cracked the code. They figured out how to produce and how to stabilize signaling molecules outside the human body. This was an absolute miracle and it's doing so much good in the world. For as I mentioned, as we age, we're losing the ability to produce more. Now we have a supplement that can fill in that gap and help return our cells to actual functioning cells of our youth. Now, that is the key to longevity, is getting to principal parts of healing. So we have a supplement now that is not a nutrient to build your new cells, but it's an actual supplement filled with workers for your nervous system that are going to take and send and share information throughout your body to help manage all of the things that I just spoke of. Now, it will take about eight weeks of consuming this product to get you back to those youthful years. So I encourage you. If you've never heard about signaling molecules, well, now you have. And if you've never tried them, get back to the person that shared this video with you and figure out what it's gonna to take to get you started and to help turn your life around to that younger, more youthful, more vibrant nervous system and cellular energy and physical body that you've had in your younger years. So I hope this was very informative to you and I hope you have a great day. Bye now in the body. First of all, here we go. Okay, Doria, I'm going to turn it over to you and let you introduce our awesome guest for tonight. Wonderful. So I met Jimmy Saffall and his better half, Michelle, at a conference in Dallas, Texas. So I haven't been anticipating ever since uh, Cindy and I have um, established Redox Nurse Talk to have Jimmy on our um, Zoom so that he can share his testimony. So, um, Jimmy, I want you to, he lives in Waco, Texas. That's where he lives. And I'm not really going to go through his bio because his bio is intertwined in the journey of before he uh, knew about this technology and then after he experienced it. So, Jimmy, if you'll just describe to us what was your life like before a sea across your path? Okay, first thing, I want to thank you and Cindy for having me on the Zoom. Uh, it's, a, it's, it's very humbling to, uh, to be here tonight. Anyway, uh, thank you all for having me on here uh, to tell my story. Um, and I hope that it, you know, reaches out to someone else that may be going through the same thing that I was going through. Um, I worked at a large manufacturing company. Uh, here in Waco uh, for like about 20 years. Anyway, uh, before that, uh, before this happened to me, my life was very busy. I was working 14, 15, sometimes 16 hours a day, uh, nonstop. It was go, go, go. Some days I would go to work at three, four, five o'clock in the morning. And I never had a specific time of when I would be getting off. And so uh, never knew, you know, just everything going crazy. And I guess I was pushing my body to its limit uh, without realizing it. I uh, played baseball my whole life, uh, played golf, 
uh, just lots of stuff going on. Uh, but I never thought you just, I guess you take for granted. Um, you know, we take for granted about with our bodies. Um, you know, we think, I guess we're in, in, indestructible. <laughs> so anyway, um, went to work one day. Um, anyway, we were having a visit from one of the, uh, the family members that own the company. And so our, our floors and stuff, I mean, was immaculate. You could eat off the floor. It was so clean there anyway. But when a, when a family member was coming, you did extensive cleaning, you know, to make sure that everything was up to par for them to see. Uh, so anyway, um, all I did was I leaned over to pick up a piece of cardboard and I collapsed. And so had no idea uh, what was going on. Um, and so I knew it was something pretty severe because I couldn't feel anything from my waist down. And so when my boss got back, um, you know, he starts freaking out and I said, don't freak out. I said, just call, get me help, you know, just call the 911. So he did anyway. So when I got to the, the ER, uh, they basically, they put me in a bed and they strapped me down from head to toe. They would not, I mean, I couldn't move an eyebrow. I mean, that's how strapped down they had me. And I, so I knew it was something severe. I just didn't know what. Anyway, uh, come to find out, they, I guess they brought out that, uh, it's a portable MRI machine that they rolled, scrolled over you. Anyway, they did all that. Uh, the doctor came in and talked to me and a little bit and showed me the, the pictures. And he said, you'll be having emergency surgery first thing in the morning at 5 a.m. So that was a big surprise to me. Never, never had any kind of surgery before in my life. Uh, you know, it was scary because I didn't know what to expect. Uh, you know, I had a few stitches and stuff along the way when I was a kid, but nothing, nothing too, too crazy. Uh, so anyway, when this happened, I knew it was something bad anyway. And, it, and then come to find out afterwards, they, they were talking to me and, the reason they had me strapped down like that is because I was at risk for being uh, completely, I guess I can say this, paralyzed for life where I couldn't move. So uh, it was scary. And so anyway, I had no, didn't know what to expect, but my surgery was supposed to have been for a little bit over two hours. Uh, ended up being in surgery for like six hours and 35 minutes. And there never was any explanation as to why. Uh, all I knew is whenever I finally woke up to where I could realize what was going on, that my right side of my body was dead, my right leg, everything. I couldn't feel anything. Uh, you know, they, they were instantly in my room wanting to get me up and get me walking down the hall. And I said, well, I, I, I can't get up because I can't feel my right leg. So anyway, so they, I guess they called the doctor, the doctor came in, he came and talked to me and, he starts feeling on my toes, my legs. Of course, they had the, the air pulsar, the pulsars and stuff all over me. Uh, anyway, and so it was a couple of days before they could finally get me up walking in the hall. I was supposed to have been in the hospital, I think, I think they originally said two days, ended up being nine days. Uh, but anyway, they got me a walker, got me up to where I could start walking a little bit. Um, I ended up going through rehab for about 14 months just to learn to walk again because my right leg was, you know, you have to learn to figure out how much pressure you're putting on and stuff and try to get the, the stuff working again. And so went through that. Um, I was bedridden for a little while. Uh, you know, they basically tried everything that, that they knew what to do, you know, uh, the stimulator, the acupunctures, the, burning my nerves, basically everything. And they basically sent me home and said, we have nothing else for you. So, sorry. Anyway, it's one of those moments that you just, you know, you don't want to hear. So, um, anyway, I just learned to survive uh, the way that I could. And 
than me and Michelle met, and she does a lot of the uh, working women's groups uh, in Waco. And she met a couple ladies, and she heard one of them get up and talk about this product, about what it was and how it worked. And uh, she started researching it. And then the next month, she went to another working deal, and there was another different lady who got up and started talking, telling her story about it. And so she's continued doing research. Of course, this whole time, she she didn't tell me anything about it. I didn't know she was doing this research. But And all of a sudden, this stuff shows up at the house. And she came home, and I said, well, what is this stuff? And she said, I've been researching it, and I bought a, a, you know, a medium-sized pack. And all I know is you just need to drink it. And so I said, okay. And just to be honest with you, the, the very first time when I took a drink of it, I knew she told me not, you know, you couldn't drink or eat anything five minutes before or five minutes after. And so the very first time that I took a drink of it, I almost spit it out everywhere. I was like, I was like, wow, I'm not sure. I told her, I said, babe, I'm not sure I can drink this stuff if it's going to taste like this every time. And so so we got in touch with Leland, uh, Leland Duck, uh, he lives, who lives in Dallas, uh, who's been a doctor in over 40 years anyway. Uh, we talked and he told me, he said, Jimmy, he says, your body, you know, your body's out of it, out of balance. And that taste will eventually go away. And a lot of times you can hold your nose and that, that taste will go away as well. And then me and him also talked. He told me, he said, Jimmy, you know, was, I was sending the pictures of what was in my back and everything. And he said, as much hardware, as much damage as there is, you're going to have to, you're going to need to bump yours up. And you probably, your body's probably going to need more because our bodies don't produce enough as we get older, like we did when we were younger. So you have to supplement what your body's not producing enough of just to keep your body healthy then but you have to take extra for the damage and stuff that's being, that's done to your body already. So uh, he explained that to me. And so I started, you know, after the first, about, about the first week, I bumped mine up and started, uh, the taste started getting better for me. Uh, that, that taste went away and actually it's the best tasting stuff that I, I love to drink every day now. And so, uh, but yeah, I finally got up to 16 ounces a day, uh, you know, and it was about two and a half months in that because I was dealing with really lots of uh, discomfort, even after surgery, so much discomfort. My feet was, was, I mean, if I stood up for five minutes, my, I mean, my leg looked like one solid thigh. It was just so huge and swollen. And uh so with that being said, you know, after about two and a half months of me taking the product, I woke up one morning and I just reached over and grabbed Michelle and she just like looked at me because I had this weird look on my face and I was scared to move. And she said, what's wrong? She knew something was something was wrong with me, something. And I said, babe, I'm scared to move. And she said, why? And I said, because I have no discomfort for the first time. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, it's one of those moments that you're scared to move because you think it's going to come back. And uh, it's been about three and a half years now that I've been, uh, you know, out of without discomfort. And it's amazing uh, to have my life back, uh, to be able to uh, do what I do. You know, I, I've been... Uh, I feel like I'm in my twenties again, you know, they say it's age reversal or, you know, being like you were when you were a child, you know, uh, because you're giving, you're actually giving your body back what it needs, what it can, what it hadn't been producing enough of for who knows how long, uh, after puberty. So, uh, when you give it, when you drink that, your body knows what to do with it because it recognizes it because your body produces it. And so that's the cool thing that I really 
enjoy about this is, um, you know, people say a lot of people overthink it. It's really simple. This, it, this, this product is really simple. All you're, what you're doing is supplement, giving your body back exactly what your body produced when you were born. It's just your body loses the ability to produce enough of that as you get older. That's why stuff doesn't heal like it used to. And so when you take that and you get all your cells and everything communicating in your body like it's supposed to, then your body can heal itself and do what, do the, you know, the way God made it to do. And it's really amazing to, uh, you know, to be able to sit here today and uh, be normal again, you know, and uh, it's just been a, a game changer for me uh, along, you know, to use the gel and the drink. Of course, I, I take the nutritionals and the cell performance and use ever, all those. And so it's, uh, but the, the, the core product is, is really amazing. Uh, that's why everybody's, you know, doctors and stuff are saying that, you know, it's the, probably the biggest breakthrough of our lifetime. It's just, we have to get it out there and let people, let people know that there's something out there that can help them and it's their choice. And so uh, I just, I enjoy every day now waking up and being out of discomfort and not, not dealing with that. And uh, just being able to, to do on a daily basis, what normal people are supposed to be able to do. And uh, it's just been, you know, if you're watching this for the first time, uh, all I can say is if you, if you, if you don't try this, you're, you're giving your, you're not giving your body, you know, you're not giving, giving your body what it needs, you know, really to, to be healthy. Absolutely. So do y'all have any questions for me or? Well, I just have a few, I just have a few comments. I know that uh, Michelle, I mean, I know in the state of the states that you were in, we're told, you know, that uh, there wasn't anything else they could do for you. So I can understand her being quiet about this and doing her research because she didn't want to disappoint you and, and, you know, kind of lift up your hopes. So right. I, it would be interesting. And I don't know if she's still in the room, but uh, to hear from her, like, you know, what, what, what was she surprised? Like, you know, cause I'm sure, you know, a lot of times we're skeptical, like, is this really going to do anything for us? But um, you know, it'd right. be interesting to know, you know, what, what was her response once you, um, you she know, started seeing something. She had to leave, but anyway, I know that, you know, the one lady she heard testimony, that lady had like three different autoimmune disorders and, you know, all this stuff. And she was just like blown away of what, you know, cause this lady's walking around healthy and she was told by doctors, she would never live to see her oldest daughter graduate or her youngest daughter. And so, uh, and her youngest daughter had already graduated. So that's, you know, and she, me and her talked about it and I said, well, here's my deal. Here's my thing. The main reason that I'm trying this is, okay, there's every, basically every med school is studying it, including Harvard. Okay. And the other thing is it has no side effects and it's non-toxic and it cannot hurt you. All it can do is help you. So they didn't have anything else for me. So why not? Right. I mean, what if, and so I, when I started it, I just went into it with an open mind and said, I have nothing else to lose. I'm miserable. I'm hurting. Uh, you know, it, it, I felt at that point, I was like, well, I felt like I was at the bottom. And I'm like, I have, all I can do is go up. So as I started drinking it, you know, I was, and I didn't think about it because I was focused more on my back because that's where, you know, most of my discomfort was coming from. And so as I started that, after a few months down the road, I started looking back at my chart that I was filling out It started realizing that there was other little things along the way that had started changing in my body that I wasn't recognizing, you know, wasn't connected to, connecting it to that. Uh, because I was more focused on my back. Uh, and so, uh, but it's, you know, it's crazy how little things like, you know, better sleep. Uh, 
I have more energy during the daytime that I didn't even know that I was missing out on, you know, I, because I guess we, we, it, it, it's just like, I guess you say like a car, you're driving your car down the, down the street and all of a sudden it, di- it just dies. Well, okay. Well, my alternator went out, but sometimes that alternator don't go out like that. Sometimes that alternator goes out gradually and you don't see it until it finally dies. And so our bodies, we start having little things go wrong, but if it's not a big thing, we don't notice it. So it becomes our new normal, but it's not normal. But we think it's normal because that's our new normal because of little things that's happened. And, and we have, we just kind of adjust and kind of work, work around that, you know, but if something big happens, okay, well, now we, we realize something's wrong. And so uh, if you don't think you, you really need to use that tracker to, to recognize the little things as well as the big things. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Thank you. So you mentioned, um, you know, this is our flagship product. I don't know if I can, you can see a picture of it here yes. is what Jimmy was drinking and you were drinking 16 ounces a day. Are you currently still drinking 16 uh, ounces? I have backed off to 12 ounces a day now. And that seems to be where that my, my sweet spot is. Yeah. But whenever, you know, if I've got a real busy day uh, that I know I've got a lot of stuff going on, then I'll drink two or three ounces during the, just during the daytime, uh, just to kind of keep it in my body more regularly. Yep. Okay. Were you also, uh, because we have two vehicles, we have one that we can drink and the gel that we can apply. Were you also using that? Yes. Uh, it's funny you ask because when we we got the drink in, there was some gel that she, that came in with the order, and Michelle did. She said, "Oh, that must be lotion. We already have a tube of lotion opened up, so let's throw that in the drawer. When we finish this, then we'll open that up." And then we started watching videos and figuring out that it wasn't lotion; that it's the same product as a drink. It's just in a gel form, but it's you know I think. I want to say I, I saw a video of Donna Lynn, or I heard her say this, that it's actually, she heard this from somebody that's three to four times stronger than the drink. So I started using that on my back and, you know, just different places. And when you use the gel, it's a game, it's a, it's really a game changer. Absolutely. So I rub it on my, on my lower back in the mornings when I get up and then at night when I go to bed. Yep. Absolutely. So, so has all your feeling sensation resume or, re, or come back to normal in your leg? You know, it's funny, funny you ask because me and Leland talked about that because he told me with drinking, drinking this, you know, the redox signaling molecules, drinking the molecules that actually your nerves have the capability of, of grow, of like coming back like an inch a month as you stay on the product and my feeling has came back in my leg now. So it's pretty, pretty amazing. Incredible. So you were using an, like an, I call it an ambulatory aid, like a walker. And now you're, you're just walking normal without any of that. Yes. I, uh, I actually, you know, I was, I was, I was really embarrassed to get, even get out of the house because I was on a walker. Right. You know, and I, you know, I, I ran into some people that I knew that I worked with and they were just like blown away, you know, that I was on a walker and stuff going, man, that's crazy. You know, and I'm telling what happened and uh, anyway, and now when I see them, they're like, wow, what did you, what did you do? You like had a, a 360 transformation, you know, last time I saw you, you were on a walker. And so I just, give them, you know, tell them a little bit, send them, send them some of our tools and the videos and, and then let them uh, choose for themselves if they decide they would like to try it too for their health. Yeah. So what are you doing now, Jimmy? What's your dream? I know all that during that time, you know, even before this injury or this insult to your back, you had some dreams. So tell us a little bit about that right now. I know I'm, I'm pretty sure that they've been rebirthed. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I always, I guess dreamed of, you know, being retired and, you know, wanting to travel and do stuff. 
but I never knew when that was going to happen working for, you know, for a big company. Uh, the way it happened, I wasn't expecting that. Uh, but, you know, with, with this company, uh, you know, it allows us to have freedom, allows us to travel, do what we like to do. And uh, I've started uh, umpiring and doing baseball games. Uh, and actually, I've started uh, doing the maintenance, taking care of the fields and doing just doing stuff that I would have never even never even crossed my mind before when I was in that condition that I would, I mean, cause I couldn't even get out, barely even get out of bed, much less even think about walking without a walker or a cane or something, you know? So yeah, I just, I just enjoy every day and uh, I try not to strain it too much, you know, try not to do too much, but just, just enjoy myself and uh, my time and my freedom, because that's one thing we'll never get back is our, is our time. For sure. Yeah. So, so I worked as, on, um, on a surgery floor and most of my patients were back patients and, uh, you know, I never saw them, um, cause they only stayed like a day or two and then they went home, you know, but I do, um, have a, um, uh, one of my, I guess you call business associates is a neurosurgeon and cause I fell and herniated my disc two years ago. And um, I didn't take any muscle relaxers or um, pain pills. I just drank right. this about yeah. a half a bottle a day. Um, right. And um, it, you know, it took, it took probably about maybe 45, 50 days for all that discomfort to leave. Um, right. And, you know, able to do the things that I enjoy. But my neurosurgeon told me, um, he said, a lot of his patients, a good 30% of them after having back surgery have chronic discomfort. Yeah. Well, yeah. So I'm just so thankful that, that, well, number one, I'm thankful that you met Michelle, your better half. Yes, she did absolutely. the research she needed to do so that you were willing to do whatever it took to, um, you know, experience this product. So thank you for your absolutely. testimony. Well, thank you for having me. I enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, Miss Cindy, what you got? You got the, some questions for Mr. Jimmy? Unmute. Unmute. There we go. Okay. Um, that was awesome, Jimmy. You and Doria both answered most of my questions. So that's amazing. And I'm sure you think back to what your life would be right now had you not had Michelle not done this, the research and introduced this to you, would you still be bed bound or at least on a walker? Absolutely. Yeah. yeah because I mean, it, you know, they, they tried, you know, the, the pain medications and stuff. I mean, lots and lots and it still didn't, it just, it's like, it didn't even, like I didn't even take anything. It wasn't doing anything for me. So what would you tell someone that you might introduce this to you and they went, well, I'll say when, because we know everybody's not open to this and that's okay. Our job is just to share. So what right. do you tell people when they say, oh, this is not for me or I don't need this or I'm healthy? What do you say? Well, well, I, you know, I've had people say that and I, I said, so, you know, people who've come down with something, who's, uh, some, they've got something, you know, a health challenge, you know, four or five months before that you could have asked that person and they'd have said, Oh no, I'm healthy because we don't know what's going on in our bodies. There may be something that's going on that just hasn't surfaced yet. So I'm just letting you know that there's something out here. Just, and if some, you know, I'll check back with you in three or four, five months down the road, just to see if something's changed in your health or your family's health, or somebody you know that might might need this product. Yeah, that's a good point. And obviously, as I can tell from your travels, one of the benefits of this product slash company is that you do have that time freedom and you have had some financial um, wins too, I take it. Absolutely, yes. It's been it's been very benefiting. And, uh, you know, we're I, I still talk to people about it every day. 
uh, wherever I'm at, a uh, grocery store, uh, no matter where I'm at, I still share the, share the product with everybody, you know, and it's, it's not for everybody. There's, there's going to be people that are going to ghost you and people that are going to say no, you know, but I'm still cheery. And I'm saying, I, and that's what I tell them. I'm saying, you know, maybe it's not for you right now, but what about maybe some of your friends that might need it? You know, are you willing to, uh, give up their phone number? So maybe I can send it to them because maybe they're open to it. That's a good point. That's a very good response. Jimmy, this has been awesome. Um, if anyone has questions, you want to go ahead and put those in the chat and we'll let Jimmy answer those. I'm just going to say a comment here in reference to your surgery, because it was important to have that surgery so you can stabilize your back. And that's right. what, you know, my neurosurgeon said, you know, that's what back surgery is for, is for um, stabilizing backs, you know, but what people don't realize there's a lot of, you know, you had trauma to your body. So it's inflammation that was occurring at the right. cellular level that was causing that discomfort. You know? Yeah. So when they, when they did my surgery, Doria, I'm not sure how if if you've been around when they've done that, but they actually hung me upside down and went through the went through the front, uh, and they had to have a a, a trauma surgeon there because uh, they pulled you know everything all my insides out so they could get to the the bottom of my spine. Yeah, yeah, that's a pretty major surgery for sure. Yeah, I can see why you were in so much pain. Yeah, that's. That's just unimaginable. I just can't, I can't imagine the pain you've gone through and the things you've struggled through just in your healing, your road to healing and just so well, grateful was, for Michelle. It was a struggle every day. I mean, I just, you know, I mean, I really didn't, I just told the Lord, I said, I really don't want to wake up tomorrow because I already know what I'm going to, what I'm going to be going through, you know, because it was, there was nothing to look forward to, uh, you know, Nothing at all, because I knew I was going to be stuck in the bed or, you know, up on a walker, just hurting, 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 you know. And so uh, I'm just I'm just thankful. I can't be thankful enough for Virtus and Tyler for for bringing this to the people. Well, with you having that much pain, I can imagine how much cortisol your body was releasing. So your stress level was obviously very high at that point. And not to mention, then you said the depression. So you were kind of hitting a, a range of symptoms dealing with all that. Absolutely. That's such an awesome testimony, Jimmy. And I appreciate you doing this. And I love seeing the emotion because that's that's real. It is. And people don't realize when you're when you're you don't have your health. I mean, it doesn't matter how much money you have, what kind of car you drive, what kind of house you live in. If you don't have your health, you have nothing. Right. Money doesn't buy everything, does it? It doesn't buy your health back. Absolutely. You, your That's health true. is most, of, you know, it's God, your health, your family. It's, it's very important. That's true. Um, is there one question I see in the chat? It says, back, when was your back surgery and when did they find redox? I'm not sure I understand that. So Redox came along, what, to, um, 2009, is that right? Yes, it's been out for, four, I think, 14, 14 and a half years. 15 yeah. years, yeah. 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 And your back surgery was, you said, how long ago? It is, let me think, it's been so long ago. Uh, it was It was actually in 2012, so I, I was in, and this, this didn't come my way till three and a half years ago. Right. So, uh, but I was at home, you know, basically all the time, just really couldn't do anything. Mm -hmm. So there was a lot of time went by that I just, you know, didn't really have a, a life lot. at all. You had yeah. a lot of time to think and pray. Yeah. I'm sure. Too much, yeah. too much time to think, actually. Yeah. So, but I'm just, I'm just thankful. I can't be grateful enough and uh, thankful enough, grateful to you, you and Doria for having me on the call tonight, you know, just to, you know, just to let people know that there's, we're sharing something that you really need to take a look at. Yeah. And I appreciate your testimony for, and what you and Michelle are doing by spreading this technology and sharing with people. That's anybody that we can touch and reach. That's awesome. 
Yes, because you never you never know who you're going to reach or who you're going to touch. You know, all it takes is, you know, it could be that one person that need, that's that's really needing it. So. Absolutely. Yeah. Plus, when you've had something dram that dramatic happen to your life, you cannot help share it. That's you know? exactly right. I mean, you know, and a, a friend of mine said, you know, how do you I don't. I don't, he said, well, I couldn't talk to my friends about stuff like that. He said, cause I just feel bad. I said, I said, Hey, I said, if you've been through what I've been through and if you would have been where I was and this product did for you, what it's done for me, you would walk around with your mouth open every day telling every person. You need. And that's what I do. It doesn't matter where I'm at. I mean, I I walk up to strangers. It doesn't bother me. They may say no or ghost me or or whatever, turn their head, but I just walk on and I go to the next person, you know. And so uh, we've had a lot of stuff happening to us in our life right now. The last couple of months, it's been really crazy and busy, uh, but uh, nothing too 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 bad. Just little just stuff happening. Uh, and so it's just kept us really, really busy. And so, but I'm, I'm about to hit the road with fire behind me and I'm, I'm fixing to get after it. Absolutely. That's awesome. Well, we appreciate you coming on. And if anyone, um, if this resonated with anyone and you're interested in the technology or you have questions, go back to the person that invited you to this Zoom and get your questions answered or reach out to one of us or reach out to Jimmy even. Yep. So um, with that, Dory, I'm going to let you introduce our guest for next week. Sure. Also, I want to uh, let you know, too, this will be uploaded to our YouTube channel called Redox Nurse Talk. So um, it should be probably in the next couple hours. So you can go and listen to Jimmy's uh, testimony again. And we have others there that from the, this past year that we've had on there. So we're really excited about next week. We have Barbara Stoltz coming on. Barbara Stoltz is... Um, has a phenomenal story as well. And I want to, you know, say a big thank you to her because she is the one that, um, I, I don't know, she's the one that purchased or pr helped create our link. I mean, we had already established it would be Redox Nurse Talk, but we wanted right. to have a, a link that people could easily remember every week versus trying to get on a Zoom ID. So we have a big right. thanks to her. We really appreciate her so much for um, and investing in us. So, uh, yes, and I know she's on the on the call to this evening. So uh, look forward to uh, seeing you guys next Tuesday, same time, seven p.m. Central, eight p.m. Eastern time. Redox RedoxNurseTalk dot com. That's our link. And thank you all again. I appreciate everything y'all do. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jimmy. Thank this you, has been Jimmy. awesome. We love thank you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you everyone right. for coming. Going to stop our recording. Thank you, ladies and Jimmy. Thank you, Jimmy. Great interview. Thank you.